want to express to you first and foremost, the difference between this and who my son was, was a father in his upbringing every single day. See, my son was going to be magic. By the time my son was my age now, you know, the help and the what he would have done to the world would have been amazing. He had everything. He had the looks, the smile, the concern, the care. He was the perfect blend of everything. He was sensitive, but tough. He was a provider. You know, he was, me and him butted heads so much growing up. You know, I, I was young when I had him but that didn't make me not want greatness for my son. So we butted heads so much. I mean, I spent a lot of time working on him for the long run, thinking he was gonna be alive for a long time. Now my son would have been cool with anybody in this courtroom. He had respect, you know, I taught him well. And I sacrificed our relationship in his teenage years, thinking he was gonna be around for a long time. What this is, is entitlement, no father, disgusting behavior to shoot my son in the back. He's 130 pounds, 21 years old, having a good time with his friends. My son was never on no tough guy stuff. My son wasn't ever on no anything other than good vibes. Cause I taught him, I was with him that night. We're sitting down having chicken wings. We're in the bar I hang out at around grown folks. This is what we do. Get a little supper, get some drinks in you. And then we take it home. Just by happenstance, my son ran into this disgusting pig there. My son was a great kid. He had 21 amazing years. He has a daughter now that is four months that will never meet her dad. Um, she's split image of him as well. And because of Damien's selfish acts and taking my son away from this world, I have to in fact take on that role and responsibility with my son's dad so that we can take care of a child that will only have memories that we get to share. Um, and the fact that he, you know, his family member just died and the fact that he could lean in his chair and smile at the same time shows that he has no remorse. I forgive him because that's how I am and because that's what God would want me to do. But my last statement would be that I hope that he finds God at some point in his life because he's, his internal life is gonna be way worse than whatever he will deal with in this lifetime. I didn't attend any of the court hearings. I couldn't bear to watch what my grandson endured before he was shot. After hearing the details, I feel like I was right there with him and I can't get it out of my head. I know that I would have taken the bullets for him. With that, I have no doubt. This is the first time that I am seeing Damien Lang. I have heard about his smugness, lack of respect, and total disregard for human life. Even though I am a Christian and should forgive at this time, no part of me can or will. His words and actions keep me from doing so. I would request that he be sentenced to the fullest extent of the law. His lack of morality, behavior, actions are absolutely no remorse proves in my eyes that he is a very dangerous person and our streets are not safe with him on them. I never want to see another family go through what we have. We are all different people now. It's a nightmare from which we will never wake.